hi everyone and um, yeah welcome to today's video today's video first things first we're going to get ourselves some coffee and then i'm going to be talking to you folks at home about one laptop that i think is pretty amazing for you photographers at home so if you're in the market looking for a machine that you want to use to edit your photos on i think i've got a laptop that just might suit you guys but first things first let's get a coffee and we'll dive straight into it so let's get to it Life is better with coffee. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Now, just a quick one. I am starting to wear glasses because blue light and all that saves the eyes. So you will notice the elephant in the room. I am wearing glasses today. But today's video is about a laptop that I think you photographers at home could really benefit from. Now, it's something that I've had in my kit for pretty well, it's a year now since I've had it. And it is absolutely amazing for photo editing so powerful all the right specs so let me introduce you to the asus zenbook duo ux481 so what do you think the Asus Zenbook Duo. Now, this thing is absolutely packed with specifications that are perfect for photo editors such as yourselves at home. This thing has a Core i7 processor, the 10th generation inside. It also has 512 gigabyte of SSD storage built in, which is pretty much amazing. I always usually use an external hard drive anyway where I keep everything on there and try and keep as much things off of the laptop to keep it running in peak condition. It also has an NVIDIA MX250 graphics card built in, so making editing an absolute breeze. It is also a 16 gig of RAM built into this machine, which is pretty much more than enough than what you will need. And as you can pretty much tell, it has dual display, which comes in really, really handy when you're editing on your main screen. You've got all of your thumbnails on the bottom. The screen pad plus is absolutely incredible. Both of these are completely touchscreen. They're touchscreen throughout, so you can use them absolutely flawlessly. Absolutely amazing laptop. So this is pretty much incredible, but with everything that you get in this industry, when you're doing photography, you have Nothing is perfect, so I'm not saying that this is a perfect laptop. I just think that it is an extraordinary laptop for you folks at home. I do have two dedicated machines. I have a second one, which is for my video editing, which I do all the time in here. I like to stay in my office, but when I'm doing things like wedding photos and stuff, it is a lot of photos to be editing, so I like to break it down. I like to just pack up the Asus Zenbook Duo and head out, head to a coffee shop and do editing there. But with everything in life, I, there are things that I like about it, there are things that I don't like about it. What we'll do is we'll start with the five things that I dislike about this laptop. And the first thing is battery life. This thing does have dual display, it does have backlit keys and it sometimes does suck up the juice. So if you are out and about editing and you do wanna spend a couple of hours wherever you are if you're in a coffee shop or if you're somewhere nice and comfortable and you want to do a couple of hours of editing this thing on average lasts roughly around i'd say i'd get about six hours out of it but sometimes that does decrease depending on how hard i'm actually pushing the machine so the battery life there are ways you can do things you can turn the brightness down on the screens you can turn the brightness down on the main screen and on the secondary screen you can also turn off the backlit keys if you want to i do like everything running full i don't think i mean the main thing about buying this is you do want the dual display so if you're having to turn it off there's pretty much no reason is to buy this laptop so yeah this thing can be pretty hungry on juice so always make sure that if you are doing extensive amount of editing on it make sure that you are close to a power source and always plug it in now the second thing about this laptop that i dislike is it does tend to struggle to handle footage in premiere pro now i don't use this machine for video editing i have done in the past but I don't use this machine for video editing anymore because there were times where it would lag, it would sometimes delay, and I just didn't like that when I'm trying to get something done. I use my secondary machine, which is just for video. I don't do no vid uh, photo editing on that. It's mainly just videos. 
so this thing is my photo editor you can run adobe premiere pro on this but would i advise it i'd probably say unless you've got a lot of patience i would actually say it's probably best you don't so and th this this laptop is aimed i think at photo editors, photographers such as yourselves. So I think it's amazing for that. You can use it. I mean, if you've got patience to use Premiere Pro, just be warned that sometimes it does lag with heavy footage. Now I've tried it with DJI footage, which is just a nightmare in general. Tried it with 4K, which it was stuttery, but I did downgrade my output to 1080 on Z6 in order to just try and make it a little bit easier on this machine. In terms of video editing, I probably would advise against the ZenBook Duo, but in terms of Lightroom and Photoshop, this thing is amazing. Now the third thing is it's not very comfortable when it's on the lap. Now, as you can see, when you open up the main screen, you will see that there is a lip at the bottom. So when you use this laptop for an extensive amount of time on your lap, you will notice that this starts to dig in and it does get a little bit uncomfortable. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't actually ruin the actual machine. It doesn't disrupt the sort of the comfort of using it. But after a while, if it's been there for a while and when you've got your hands on it, you are adding just a little bit more pressure down. So that lip just tends to get in the way a little bit too much and sometimes becomes a little bit uncomfortable when it's on the knee. But when I'm editing and if I'm at home, if I'm comfortable downstairs, I usually tend to pop the laptop onto a pillow and edit from there so it's a little bit more comfortable. When I'm out and about, obviously if I'm in a coffee house, I will basically just pop it down and there's no issues. What it does is it just raises the, mon the machine up so that there is plenty of room underneath for the ventilation for the machine to operate. But yeah, it does get a little bit uncomfortable guys. It does sort of dig into your leg a little bit, but if you've got a pillow, you're good to go. The fourth thing I dislike is the fact that it is a brushed metal lid. So as you can tell, this thing picks up fingerprints like you would never believe. I have a little bit of sweaty hands and I always have fingerprints, obviously where I'm opening and closing the machine and that really does irritate my OCD. Is it a deal breaker enough to not buy the laptop? I'd probably say no, but in terms of actually using the laptop, you don't really see the back of the machine. But when you do slide it out of its case, or where you aren't getting it out, you can see quite a bit of fingerprints on that. So yeah, that's the other thing that just annoys me, folks. It is the brushed steel on the lid. That's pretty much it for number four, is the fingerprints do tend to get on your nerves. So if you do have a little bit of OCD like I do, that will irritate you. Moving on to number five. So when Asus made this laptop, obviously they had to stick a secondary monitor into it. That is the key selling feature. The unique selling point of this laptop is having the dual displays, which are absolutely incredible. So obviously the real estate on the laptop had to be shifted over and obviously the laptop itself had to be readjusted and redesigned. So you've got a little mouse mat on the far side. So the mouse pad is, is absolutely brilliant. It's dual touch so you can do all the gestures and things on it, zooming and stuff, zooming in, pinching in and out. That is amazing. And you've also got the physical keys as well, which are absolutely incredible. Sometimes it does get a little bit irritating after an extensive amount of time when you're actually editing photos. But what I tend to do is I just bought a cheap mouse and I stick that in via the USB. And I just use that wirelessly. So after an extensive amount of time, you do feel that just having that external mouse does make things just that little bit more easier and that's probably the only things that I can pick up that are wrong with this laptop and with everything nothing is perfect there isn't a perfect laptop out there if there was we would all have one but in my opinion I just think that this thing is absolutely amazing for photographers such as yourself sat at home who are looking to do some serious photo editing absolutely amazing and it is an impeccable machine for that one reason and one reason alone. So moving on to five things that I love about the Asus ZenBook Duo and number one, the dual display really is the unique selling point of this laptop. Having this full HD screen down at the bottom where when you are editing, you can basically have all of your images down there and it is so easy and both of them being touchscreen just makes everything flow. That is one of the key reasons why I think this laptop is incredible for photographers such as yourselves at home that you can just get all of your photo editing needs done on the Asus ZenBook Duo. Number two is the main screen. So the full 14 inch screen is 
Pantone validated and is completely color accurate. When you are editing and doing photos, if you were to export it on a different machine that hasn't got a validated screen and a true color life screen, then what you'll find is that when you export your images and you look at them through another monitor or someone's phone and the look colors just don't look true to life, that is because the screens aren't fully accurate to the color chart. So that's another tick for the Asus ZenBook. This is a Pantone validated screen and the colors are completely true to life. And that is another handy tool for photographers such as yourselves, photo editing at home, knowing that all your colors are completely and exactly how you want them. Number three is portability and lightness. Now Asus really went to town when they tested this laptop. They really put it through its paces to ensure that the, the structural integrity of the laptop is not compromised in any way and you can really feel that when you hold the Asus ZenBook Duo. It is built like a tank but it is not heavy it is not too thick it is thicker than some laptops when closed it is a little bit thicker than laptops such as like macbook airs but they are ridiculously thin but when you've got a dual display that obviously is compromised so you do sort of miss out a little bit on the lightness and the thinness but this thing is still light it is light enough to be portable everywhere you take it it is so easy you can just pop it on a park bench and it feels good in the hands it is nice and light and it's not too heavy when you're carrying it around i do have a carry case for mine i stick it into its leather sleeve but i also pop it into one of my carry bags and if i'm out and about editing if i go somewhere it doesn't feel like a brick hanging down by my side on a shoulder bag so yeah it's perfect for that nice and light nice and portable and that is number three of what i love about the asus zenbook duo number four is that this laptop and i keep going on about it but the dual displays apart from it being pantone validated and perfectly calibrated for colors and very intuitive to use for photographers such as yourselves but these machines are touchscreen and now having two touchscreen and having two monitors in itself in a laptop is absolutely incredible but having the actual ability to have a touchscreen monitor on both screens makes it very very easy and the workflow just goes even better and more smoothly and seamlessly well when editing so having the actual ability to click things with your fingers and also using the stylus pen which also comes with the machine is absolutely amazing and just makes your workflow go so so much better so i'm very very happy that they've actually made these two touchscreens so the bottom one and the main one are both touchscreen in themselves and that is absolutely perfect for photographers editing at home such as yourselves number five is this machine has some amazing specs built in it has a i7 core processor and it's the 10th generation chip inside of this one. It does have the NVIDIA MX250 graphics card and also 512 gigabytes of SSD storage built in. As I mentioned earlier, I do tend to use an external hard drive. I've got a two terabyte hard drive that I keep everything on because the less that's on this laptop, then the faster it will perform. If you lag your machine up and clog it up full of all crap and stuff everywhere, then your performance levels will drop. So. If you can try and get everything onto an external hard drive and keep your machine as clear as possible that will increase the performance of the laptop itself inside of this one we have the intel core i7 and it is the 10th generation one so it's got a powerful chip inside of it it does come with the nvidia mx250 inside of it which is a fantastic graphics card and more than enough to do what you need to do on the machine it comes with 512 gigabytes of ssd built-in storage which is amazing i do use the external hard drive so everything keeps off of that so that's good and then obviously the other thing is 16 gigabytes of ram now the ram actually makes it perform amazingly well and incorporated with everything else this machine does come with some pretty incredible specs so absolutely perfect like i said earlier not so perfect for video editing i think if you really were serious about video editing and photo editing on one main machine then i would say spend that a thousand pound more and get the zenbook pro not this one which is the asus zenbook duo this has the lesser specs but for a main machine i think that one's around two and a half thousand pounds 
but it is an absolute beast. But today's video is about the Asus ZenBook Duo, and I think this is probably the best laptop that you can get if you are a photographer such as myself. And if you're in the market for a laptop and you do want to buy one, then I would seriously say head over to Asus now and have a look at the ZenBook Duo. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I've really got for you today. I just wanted to get it out there that I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the kit that I have. And as you can see, in the back, I have upgraded to the Apple iPhone 13 Pro. A couple more videos coming out on that. I will be doing a video on this very, very shortly. So it'll probably be the video that follows this one. And so yeah, that's it folks for today's video. I just wanted to get it out there that the Asus ZenBook Duo is an incredible laptop for you photographers at home. So if you're in the market for a new laptop, then I fully recommend heading over to Asus's website, adding to basket and buying that main laptop for your photo editing needs that's it folks i will see you all on the next one and hopefully we'll have more coffee and plenty more content for you guys at home so yeah as i say folks see the world capture life peace oh.